hello there. Ballsy C four seven here. And this is my next update video on the Winter Soldier costume. I hope you enjoy. Okay, jump cut! And we have appeared to jump to an empty space of floor. But just give us a few seconds. And would you look at that? A magically appeared costume. Anyone buying that yet? Nope. Well, why not? <laughs> it's a video. Okay, let's go see what we've done to for this costume, shall we? Now, I have some military surplus boots with a nice zipper and a strap and some shoelaces to make it all look fancy and all that and plus they're my size and they fit very well uh, going on we have black pants and we have a pair of nice knockoff US Navy knee pads we have a nice looking pistol which seems to have a blue a light on it for some reason not sure why we have a army knife which is plastic black and plastic and bendable blade and everything that in that teaser photo you may have thought it was silver but I'm going to show you right now that the power of Photoshop is amazing See, it's a bendable blade. Boing, boing, yeah. Let's put that back. <laughs> what I've got here, what looks like a freaking military bulletproof vest is actually a hockey vest. And if you look very carefully, you may or may not see a griffin low emblem there from a Griffin sports team I think it's a hockey team but oh well down here is a nice good leather jacket that I horribly destroyed by cutting off the sleeve a lone pair of goggles and the piece of resistance if that's how it's that's not how you say it but oh well the robot arm the thing that everyone wants to know how to make and the thing that everyone wants to see now a little story about this arm I nearly forgot to make the shoulder it was Thursday morning the movie was coming out that uh, that morning slash afternoon. I was going to watch it that afternoon. I woke up at 5.30 with a flash in my mind of holy crap, that's how I make the shoulder. So I got up at 5.30 before my alarm went off an hour later and done all this in that morning. Plus I'll go up to Centrelink and get out of there in less than five minutes, which is a damn miracle if you ask me. My appointment was at 9.15, I got to Centrelink at about, uh, let's see, 10 to 9, I get called up 5 minutes to 9, and I'm out of there by 9 o'clock to head back home and finish off that shoulder which I didn't have planned in my schedule, so it was actually kind of perfect. So I had to spray paint this shoulder again and all that stuff and wait for it all to dry in between each coat. And I got the rest of this costume all done and all that. And a little story about the wig. Well, I was cutting off the hair at the front. It had a little kind of wave at the front, which didn't look right. So I cut that off. I cut a little bit more off. I cut a little bit more off and there was only a little bit of a left of the wave. And if I were to cut it any more, you'd see a massive elastic strap across the top 
from where the wig is the to show you that it is a wig on your head <laughs> so yeah it didn't work out as well as I thought so my hair's kind of long enough see how long so yeah I just went up to the cinema that day with no wig on it still looked fine as you saw on the teaser <laughs> okay and I finished and as you can see also finished painting everything and that as well now I'm gonna do another little magic trick which is totally not going to involve that in any way at shape or form whatsoever uh, are you ready? This, 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 this uh, shaking is nothing. Don't worry about it. And that's probably no, not rained up right at all. Now, are you ready? Hi, cat. Three, two, one. Ta-da! That wasn't legit, was it? <laughs> oh well. Oh, this is the costume. Now let's go get this back into focus to a better view so I'm not crouching. years ago for when Ka for when the Avengers came out. This is actually my sister's prop and it's had multiple uses so it's got duct tape, hot glue, pins and whatever you can think of to hold leather strapping to EVA foam you can think of yeah <laughs> it's pretty much on there to keep it all together. I'm gonna have to remake it soon and use some of that strong bond stuff which I had to use on the shoulder there to keep that on. But yeah, a pretty wide range of movement and the arm. The, although after watching the movie last night I now realise that I, my, my arm isn't that as shiny as the one in the movie. <laughs> But I'm sure I can work with that. I don't have a special Photoshop. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, this is the finished costume. Not the much at the back. It's quite a lot at the front. Yeah. Wait, I can't kind of close. There we go. Yeah. And that's it. The finished costume. Hopefully I'll have an updated version of it when it comes around to free comic book day, which is the first Saturday in May. And if you're going to that, I'll be going to the free comic book day event down at Cosmic Comics in Rockingham. So yeah. I may see you there.
three, two, one. Say hi to Charlie. Hi Charlie. No, you don't like the camera, okay, fine. 